Imagine a vehicle that is designed to tackle any terrain, from the southern off-road outbacks in Australia to meteoric ice beds and glaciers in the Antarctic. Equipped with low-pressure monster truck tires that have a remote inflate and deflate feature, thus making it amphibious to both land and water. This is the Sherp All-Terrain Vehicle. The technology company was founded in 2012 and has headquarters in Ukraine and Canada. Its name Sherp comes from the Sherpa people, famous for being guides, porters, and experts living in the high mountainous regions of the Himalayas. The most noted Sherpas were the first men to climb Mount Everest in 1953. So taking on a name like Sherp would definitely leave you with high expectations as to what these vehicles can do. But did we mention each low pressure tire has its own fuel pump and it's amphibious to both land and water? They can float. In today's video, we are looking at all seven Sherp vehicles available on their product line. But before we get it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. Number one is the Sherp Pro 1000, which is the most popular globally sold Sherp UTV on the line. The Sherp Pro 1000 was the first vehicle marketed by the Sherp brand. The vehicle is equipped with a unique air circulation system that uses exhaust gases to inflate or deflate the tires as required. The tires are connected by a pneumatic circuit that allows the driver to adjust the tire pressure to different terrains and payloads. The Pro 1000 offers a diesel engine that provides high torque and fuel efficiency with a low level of noise and vibration. The engines are adapted for work in any climate zone, which makes it possible to operate the all-terrain vehicle both in hot desert conditions or on cold glaciers. The loading capacity for the Pro 1000 is 1000 kilograms and can hold six passengers. Its max speed is about 40 kilometers per hour on land and six kilometers per hour on the water as the Pro 1000 is fully amphibious. The exterior frame is corrosion resistant thanks to its galvanized body. The Pro 1000's body is made of aluminum, which reduces the total weight and lowers the center of gravity. The price tag for the Pro 1000 is about $150,000. Number 2, Sherp N1200, which is somewhat of the predecessor to the Pro 1000. It's got a 1.8 liter diesel engine, 6 speed manual gearbox, and 55 horsepower with 190 Nm of torque. It's also got a larger loading capacity than the Pro 1000 with 1200 kilograms of loading capacity. Some notable features for the N1200 is that these are the only vehicles in the world that can climb from water onto the ice, able on up to 300 meters over sea level and can overcome obstacles up to one meter in height. Its total fuel capacity is very impressive, increasing to 327 liters due to additional fuel tanks integrated in each wheel disc. Up to 65 hours of autonomous work and 19 hours of non-stop running, giving it a low cost expense per one ton of cargo delivery which means you would save up to 75% when compared to a helicopter, meaning its low fuel consumption of five to eight gallons of diesel per hour means its cost for running is only about $7 an hour. The price tag is slightly above the Pro 1000 at $169,000. Number three is Sherp Firefighting UTV. The universal logistics solution in fighting forest fires in the most extreme conditions inaccessible by any transport. This Sherp is sure to deliver rescuers, equipment, fuel, and water to its destination, no matter the weather or terrain. Its low pressure tire coolant system allows it to move through fire blazing smoldering areas and extinguish the flames and embers 
on the ground in order to eliminate the possibility of any fire starting back up. Due to its installed firefighting vacuum motor pump, it is able to pump up water directly from any open natural sources. In addition to delivering liquids, SHRP can be easily converted into a cargo carrier, people mover, and a search and rescue unit to deliver equipment, crew, and injured people. Equipped with special side boxes for storing firefighting accessories and instruments. The SHRP firefighting UTV was shaped around purpose. Its interior, a versatile space that can hold up to 9 passengers. Number 4 is the SHRP ARC 3400. The ARC 3400 consists of two linked units that work as a single vehicle. The second unit can be equipped with various ready-made solutions, such as a universal loading platform, people mover, dwelling module, medical module, a drilling rig, and even a tank unit for the purpose of transporting fuel, water, or any liquid needed. As a people mover, the ARC can fit 22 passengers. The ARC 3400 has an intuitive steering wheel control that features a 3-axis articulated steering system. It allows the driver to go over multiple level obstacles with ease. The head unit of the ARC rises and rotates along 3 axes, providing additional climbing capacity for different obstacles. The all-wheel control system allows the driver to switch between different driving modes. If necessary, the head unit drive can be turned off. The rear section drive is ideal for moving over difficult terrains. In all-wheel control mode, the torque transmitted to the front and the rear sections provide better traction, safety, and handling. The starting price for the Sherp Arc 3400 is around $500,000. Number 5 is Sherp Search and Rescue the best assistant in saving lives. Being that the SHRP is fully amphibious to land and water, one of the coolest features for the search and rescue is the fact that it is unstoppable, as even something like a water rescue does not limit the SHRP search and rescue, being able to float in any depth of water. The universal logistics solution in saving lives and delivering rescuers to the most hard to reach locations. The SHRP Search and Rescue UTV can perform various different rescue operations depending on the vehicle configuration. The heart of the SHRP Search and Rescue UTV is its high technology DOSAN engine that provides high torque and fuel efficiency with low level noise and vibration. Equipped with an emergency communication system, a radio set, special light and sound signals, red and blue stroboscopes and a GPS navigation allows this UTV to be used as a command unit. Equipped with rescue stretchers with helicopter fastening systems for victim transportation. The inner space of the SHRP search and rescue is organized so that rescuers always have everything they need ready at hand. Life jackets, fire and rescue ropes, entrenching tools, first aid kits, medicines, and fire extinguishers. Number 6 is the unmanned ground vehicle, the SHRP UGV platform, which is fully electric with 40 kilowatt engine power and 4 hours of battery set autonomy. The vehicle has two batteries which are easily accessible for replacement by opening the battery housing space. Being that the unmanned ground vehicle is fully electric and operated by a remote control, it gets up to 10 kilometers of control radius. The unmanned ground vehicle was designed to be a stealthy transporting vehicle. Its flatbed allows it to transfer an array of supplies to any unaccessible destination. It can also be used to support and launch any flying devices or drones. The UGV platform also comes equipped with border surveillance, military attack, defense, support, and rescue. And the last vehicle in the SHRP lineup is the SHRP shuttle, which is the SHRP boat. 
designed to overcome any barrier on water, of course, faster than any of the amphibious UTVs in the lineup. Its long bed is able to transport two Sherps across any barrier. It's got a loading capacity of 5,000 kilograms and a max payload of 8,000 kilograms. The max speed is about 60 kilometers per hour, while its max speed with a loaded boat is about 35 kilometers per hour. The Sherp shuttle comes equipped with two Mercury F300 engines and has a water depth move of one meter. Sherp is definitely one of the coolest technology companies out there in the world making UTV vehicles. Their fully amphibious lineup definitely puts them above the rest. Anyways, that concludes the full lineup of the Sherp vehicles. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.